I come in? Certainly. Oh, don't get up. I'm just the pastor here. Grading the papers, I see. Yes, Father. They're a wonderful bunch of children. Yes. You should be very proud of them. We are. I ran into some of the girls out there, and they're, they're dying with curiosity about their marks. I, I'm supposed to come in and, uh, <clears throat> without your knowing, of course, find out how they turned out. I presume you opened your heart and passed them all, didn't you? All but one, Father. Patsy? Oh, no. Well, this is only one subject. The others are even worse. Her average is below 60. Well, she, uh, she got the date right, and she, she spelled her name right. Couldn't you give her something on that and add it up again, maybe pass her? Don't you think the honor of the school means anything? But what about Patsy? St. Mary's isn't being very much help to her. Don't you think we should help a child like that? Just beginning to believe in herself, and a blow like this, a uh, child may never get over it. Do you believe in just passing everybody, Father? Maybe. Maybe I do. I can't believe you mean it. Well, it's easier for some children to make the grade than others. They don't have to study. But I've known some that got the best marks in school and, and never made much of a mark afterwards. I knew a character once, a fellow named uh, Elmer Hathaway. He and I went through school together. Or rather, I went through school. Elmer just stood still. I think he was three years in the eighth grade. <laughs> He's quite a boy. The teacher often wondered how he found his way to the schoolhouse. Sometimes he didn't. Kids used to make fun of him. He was sort of a dreamer. Sometimes he'd even forget what day it was and he'd come to school on Saturday. I asked him who Plato was one day and he said, Plato who? But he was good with his hands. He built a boat, a sailboat. One time he disappeared for, oh, two or three days. And when he came back, they, they asked him where he'd been. And he said, oh, just sailing. Well, he got to be about a foot taller than anybody else in the class. And they felt sorry for him. So they decided to pass him. Besides, I think they needed the desk at the time. He never knew about it, and from that time on, he developed assurance. You've heard of the uh, Hathaway Shipyards, haven't you? Yes. That's Elmer. And to this day, he takes care of his less fortunate pals. You know, the ones that used to get uh, 99 and 100. If any of them are broke or out of a job, they can always work for Hathaway. He's a good man. By the way, just what is passing, anyhow? 75, you know. Yes, I know that, but who started it? Our school is based on it. Every school is, if we don't have standards. Yeah? But, but certainly you're not serious. I am. Aren't we here to give the children a helping hand, or are we here to measure their brains with a yardstick? Why do they have to have 75 to pass? You would put the standard at 65, Father? Why not? Then why not at 55? Why any grades at all? Why don't we close the school and let them run wild? Maybe. Be better than breaking their hearts. That's